I'm Tori Trades, and if you guys have been following along my journey, you know that I've made the transition from day trader to swing trader. What a journey that was. Guess what? We're going back. We're going back to being a day trader. Now, not fully. I'm experimenting. I'm easing my way into it, but I want to get back to the five minute time frame. That's where I've actually spent most of my trading career. If you guys don't know, I've been trading for nine years now. I'm going to say like six or seven of those years was the five minute time frame. I moved from the five minute to the one hour, then the one hour to the four hour time frame. Trading Apex, I need to be day trading. We have to close our trades. Now you don't have to, you can still be that four hour trader, close your trade before 4.59 p.m. Eastern and then reopen. But I'm gonna say I'm excited about the five minute time frame, and this is something that I wanna commit to. So I'm I'm going all in. I don't wanna, you know, have positions open on the four hour time frame, close them and then reopen. I wanna place my trades in that five minute time frame. A lot of my students trade the five minute time frame and my community does. So let's just let's get all into it. Let's go right on in, all back in, boop ba dee ba doo. Now why would I even wanna consider going back to the five minute time frame? The first thing is, oh my gosh, when you can close that trade and be done with it, not have to think about it anymore. That's enticing, is it not? That sounds great to free up that mental space that you have been drained with, the four hour time frame where you go to sleep and guess what? You wake up, you're still in a trade. You go to sleep the next day, you wake up, you're still in a trade. Imagine how exhausting that is. Five minute time frame, you close that trade, you are done. Close the computer, you're done, don't even think about it anymore. So that is one thing that I do miss about the five minute time frame is being able to close that trade and truly separate. It's not in the back of your mind, it's not in the back of your head thinking, am I making money, am I losing money right now? for days on end. No, you're in that five minute time frame. you trade during your session and then you're done. Spitting facts over here. Another reason why I'm excited to go back to the five minute time frame is that instant gratification. You get that profit and loss right then and there. There's a lot more volatility. What price does within the five minute time frame versus the four hour time frame is just so different. They're completely different traders. They're seeing completely different things. That four hour time frame, you're looking at one candle, just move up and down in four hours versus the five minute time frame, they get to see so much. You get to kind of, and actually look, we've got the charts open right here. This four hour time frame, we're looking at one candle. One candle has four hours worth of price movement. Let's go ahead and move to the five minute time frame. Look how different this looks. There's just so much more going on. We can capitalize on all of this in between. So how cool, the four hour trader, they never got to see any of this. They had no idea this was going on. They saw one candle moving up and down a little bit. The five minute trader gets to capitalize on all of these movements. Okay, there's also drawbacks to the five minute time frame, and that is essentially you're making a lot more decisions in a shorter amount of time. So there's a little bit more anxiety involved and that could lead to emotional trading. Also be aware of the volatility involved in the five minute time frame. Things could look like they're making rapid movements or aggressive moves in the five minute time frame when really we're just getting, maybe it's a news day, you're getting a sporadic move here. Whereas, okay, maybe we're on the higher time frames. Nothing, nothing actually crazy is happening. Now it also requires a little bit more skill. Now it seems like that's the, the place where you start. You start in the five minute time frame. And I do recommend people starting in the five minute time frame because it is a little bit tricky. If you start in that four hour time frame, things are comfortable. You're not making very many decisions. You're holding your trades for a few days. It feels very relaxed and low paced. But that five minute time frame requires your attention at all times. So it does require more skill. So that's just something I, I recommend people start in the five minute time frame. Get used to that higher volatility, making quick decisions in a short amount of time and seeing much more noise, which you know in the higher time frames you're not seeing all that. So it does require more skill, but I, I recommend mastering that first before moving up time frames. So now let's play some trades. I haven't placed a five minute trade dude in like I think over a year. Uh, maybe it's been like six months, but let's do it. Here we go. Right now I'm looking at the NQ. I don't want to place a trade on the NQ in the five minute. That looks ugly. Uh-uh. Let's go to crude oil maybe? No. Let's go to gold. Okay, we can trade gold. It's looking a little volatile. We got some movement here. Let me just take a peek at platinum and silver and copper. All right, dude, we're doing it. I'm in a live account right now. Let's see if I can find a setup. Okay. We, we need to do some chart analysis first. Let's start on our higher time frames and then work our way down. Monthly time frame. I can't see my computer screen. I'm gonna have to scoot it just a little bit. For you guys that are watching, I am going to scoot my computer screen so that it doesn't look abrupt. I just need to be able to see it better. Okay. All right, so we're in the monthly time frame. It's looking good. Let's delete some of our lines. If you guys know I'm a trend line trader, I'm making decisions based on lines on, on a chart, lines on a screen. This is ours. Okay, so we're on the monthly. Let's go down to the weekly. Weekly is looking good. Let's go down to the daily. Daily is looking good. Let's come in with some steeper lines here. I love that you guys get to just see this beautifully simple 
strategy, which is not easy, but very simple. Simple to apply. All right, four hour time frame. let's come in some more. So in the four hour, in the daily, in the weekly, copper is up. Now let's go to a one hour. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting down and dirty here, going to the one hour. Okay, I would have gotten signals to go short in the one hour, but we're not doing the one hour today. We're going to the five minute time frame. So we're in the one hour. Let's come down even closer. All right, we won't go straight to the five minute. Let's look at the 30, then the 15, then we'll go to the five. 30 minute time frame. I need to come in with some downward trend lines. Boom, boom. Let's change the color to red. Love it. We need to come in even steeper. Okay, I'm gonna come in with my steepest line here on the 30 minute time frame. I'm gonna adjust this to this last pullback and let's look in the five, see if we can find an opportunity to go short, which I, that's the only move I see here. So five minute time frame. let's take a short position. We're in a live account, we're doing it. You guys all around me, you seeing this, we're doing it. We're maybe, maybe we'll come in light though. We'll, we'll come in light in position size. We're gonna create a new order. Let's do one. I haven't traded one contract in so long. We're taking a sell position, market order, we're in. We're in a short position, real live money right now. Let's pull up the profit and loss. Wow, I haven't done this in so long, this is exciting. Am I making money or am I losing money? Let me pull up the profit and loss so we can see dollar amounts here. I am losing 85 cents. Wow, this is a little more anticlimactic than I thought it would be. Maybe I need to go in heavier. I'd be losing $85, that'd be a little bit. Oh, okay, we're up 12 bucks. 12 buckaroos, 12 doll hairs. This is fun, okay. Let me at least walk you through the strategy as we're waiting for some of these five minute candles to populate, which I don't know if we're gonna wait that long, but maybe we will, we'll see. Let's see, okay, first of all, what am I expecting in this trade? Why am I even in a short position? I am in a short position right now because price has crossed this upward green line. It has shown me that we may not be trending upward anymore. We may be trending down. Now, how long am I gonna stay in this trade? How long am I willing to, to give this trade? Where am I willing to take a loss? It's gonna be on the other side of this downward line. So if price can show me that, it showed me that it's no longer trending up, so I like that, we're taking short positions. If it can show me that it's no longer trending down either, then I'm thinking of closing this short position. So let's see where a stop loss would go. Let's come in a little bit closer. The stop loss is always gonna go on the other side of the opposing trend line that got crossed. So the line that got crossed is the upward green line. Love that for me, we're in short positions it's going to go on the other side of the opposing trend line. So we took short positions because it crossed an upward line. We want the stop loss to go on the other side of the downward line. Do you see how smart I sound? Like I'm so confident in this because this is just what I do, talking to you guys. All right, so short positions here, let's take our stop loss. We're gonna have to put our position size on the screen so that we can see how much we're making, if we need to put in a stop loss or a take profit. Here we go. We're gonna go to our settings, we're gonna go to trading here and turn the positions on. And let's see dollar amounts, money. Okay, there we go. I'm down 12 bucks right now. It's pulled back. Now here we can add a stop loss. We're gonna take that stop loss and drag it to the other side of the safety line. So I'm willing to lose $137 in this trade. Now it also went ahead and moved my take profit as well. I don't trade with a take profit, you guys know that. I am essentially trying to stay in the trend for as long as possible. So if this trend does continue down, I don't know how long it's gonna trend down for. I don't know where that take profit should be. I'm essentially gonna let the price tell me when to take my profit. Now, when trading an Apex account, we wanna take profit as much as we possibly can and as soon as we possibly can. So I want this stop to trail along my profit. So as soon as profit starts turning around, I wanna take that. So let's see if we can get as much of this profit as we can in this five minute time frame. Now, this trade may take longer, so you guys may not be able to see this whole trade play out since we're gonna have to sit here for at least 15 minutes just to see three candles, and I don't know if we wanna do that. But this was essentially me getting into a trade. So this is the first time I've placed a trade in the five minute time frame. That's exciting, it's fun. I'm getting used to it. I'll be going full force in the five minute time frame. We're down 50 bucks already, here we go. Are we coming up? Are we? Do I need to go ahead and take this, this loss here? But this is essentially kind of walking guys through my strategy in the lower time frames. When you're in lower time frames like the five minute time frame, you're gonna be making a lot more decisions as well. So this trade may not work out within five to 10 minutes. I may need to reverse my position and think long positions very soon here. So there's just a lot more decisions to be made in those lower time frames. You just get so much more noise, so much more volatility. So I'm trying to find out which one of these trends is actually gonna follow along. I wanna catch something like this. This was a beautiful move down. 
And right now we very well could be in consolidation. It is 8 p.m. at night and I'm trading copper, so we might not get price to go anywhere. But essentially, I am trying to find which trend it's which trend is true, which trend is actually going to follow along. Right now we're down 37 bucks. So, this is fun. Maybe I'll try the one minute next because this just isn't doing it for me. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out. I will keep you updated on this trade. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment. What time frame do you trade? Uh, do you trade the five minute? Do you trade the four hour? Do you trade the one minute? Let me know. Drop it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.